What's going on everyone? I am Wallace, this is Renee, and if you're new to the channel, we're going to a Panic at the Disco show. I know nothing about them, her favorite band, and uh, yeah, I'm trying to get informed. So what are we listening to today? The Ballad of Mona Lisa. The Ballad of Mona Lisa. Is that one of those uh, xylophones? He's kind of like a, uh, I don't know, man, kind of a whiny, soundy voice. Not like an necessarily an insult. I mean, draw away. I mean, I, I like his stuff, and his gets that way, too. But, uh, I don't know. <laughs> he just kind of has a, a whiny, sounding voice. Didn't he do Broadway? Uh-huh. He did? Yeah. Okay. I thought, uh, I mean, that works well for Broadway type stuff. You really need to carry, you know, in a crowd without a microphone, you know? <laughs> song it has like the little which I mean that's just like a very poppy type thing to do and people seem to like it a lot is why it's used in a lot of popular songs besides his own but uh man I still have similar criticisms as I do before I really like uh I like instrumental and like if you're gonna call yourself a band normally I expect like you know instruments just doing some really standalone type stuff 
normally. That's just normal. But I do see and understand why people like this song. It's a bop for me. A bop? Yeah, it's a bop. What does that mean? It means it's a good song. Okay. All right. It's a bop. Is that, is that an acronym or no? I don't know. Okay. I don't think so. Well, it's for some reason. All right. Well, it's a bop. And yeah, I can see why it's a bop. That's uh, what I'm saying. So, I mean, I can't very well say that's a bad song because obviously, I mean, I get it, you know? All right, well, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more of these reactions. Oh, 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 oh.